Alright, so um, just to clear up what all this killa, mega, uh, micro, milla, what all those, uh, what all those mean, I'll show you. So let's say, alright, so let's say you got, uh, um, let's just start with milliamps. So, one milliamp equals point zero zero one amps and one microamp equals point zero 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 one amps and then one nanoamp equals point zero 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 one amp and then one pico amp you know that'd be point zero 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 one amp <clears throat> so that's when you're going that direction So going the other direction, let's say um, <clears throat> you got, say you got uh, one kilo ohm, that would be one kilo ohm would equal one thousand ohms, and one mega ohm would equal one million ohms. And you got one giga, which you're not going to really see giga ohms. I would say you got one giga, gigavolts. <laughs> yeah, one billion. Volts. And you got one terabolt. And one trillion. Volts. So that's uh, that's breaking down your your values on how you move your decimal places in order to uh, understand what what those mean. So I also just wrote them all out here. So one tera is a capital T, one giga is a capital G, one mega is a capital M, and then one kilo is a lowercase k and then one milli is a lowercase m one micro is a it looks like a lowercase u but it actually has a long tail on the front um, one nano is a lowercase n and then one pico is a lowercase p and then there is all the values